Hello everyone. This is size 12 uh, curved uh, light wire hook and the thread I'm using is Rusty Brown 8O. I will explain all the material as usual. So if you just start below the eye, it's basically a simple pattern and very works very well. So just keep going all the way down. They come in various of size, you know, like uh, uh, this is size 12, but you can also tie this on size 10 as well because these stone, stone flies are in a different sizes, you know, large and, and they can grow up to like nearly an inch. So now you can use cork fiber or anything. I'm using CDC stems, you know, this is like if you cut the feathers from either side and this is a golden color and just cut them on the top and just kind of bring them and alter them the size and just the accurate size you know just the length you want a couple of more turn and if I could just kind of lift them up And just go, I suppose, figure of eight. And just split, the, split them up like this, you know. You don't have to be 100%. And then gently, kind of, cover these stems. So if you cut this off, and go back. Add some wax on your thread and I'm using dubbing this is a very fine dubbing it's a, it's a really good for the dry part and you know floats very well and if I could just rotate this to get my hand around and just apply some gently need a nice body here you know I need a little bit more dubbing let's try to create a tapered body That should be okay. Okay, this is a brown partridge for the wings and dyed yellow. I found the longest feather and cut the stem from the middle so I can have a nice shape of the wings. So if you stroke them backward try to get a measurement for the body and now remember the body is longer than uh, the sorry the wings are longer than body actually just a tiny bit longer so keep them on the top and make sure you use your left hand now hold them there go over with your thread very gently a couple of times and It's a little bit tricky, but once you get a little practice over it, it'll be all right. And secure them. You don't have to be 100%, but like I said, you know, make sure that they're sitting accurately. I think yeah, it should be alright after we 100%. Make now, just 
I'm going to cut some of these off, the longer one, and leave some just to get some legs. So again, now I have to secure them properly. And just cut this from here. Again, add some wax and level the head. Come back. Take your time, and the final thing I'm going to use is CDC. Just uh, as usual, I cut this on a in the thread. So you unwind your thread and split the thread actually, or you can use you can just tie a little dubbing loop. Again, this is a golden olive CDC. And then take your time again. And then spin it. Spin your bobbin. should be okay and then just start from the and stroke these backward because we need to see uh, some brown color as well you know into the head and then I'm gonna stroke everything back all these fiber and form a tiny bit head and what you need here is just a very small amount of varnish for the head and just basically a whip finish So there we have a golden stone dry fly. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.